is a hazardous area. For your own safety, please vacate the premises. Clearance acknowledged. Follow me for your extraction debriefing, comrade. Please step inside, agent. Extraction details can be found on the terminal inside. Well, if it ain't my favorite out-of-towner. We need to gather up the ingredients. I see. Thank you kindly for these. Don't be a stranger now. Wild fruit, eh? Just as good, if a slight weaker for flavor.
thought so. Those things do carry a smell, don't they? Let me take them off your hands then. Brewing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? <laughs> Greetings, child. I'm Marcella, missionary and student of the faith. How are you? The feeling is mutual, child. I'd enjoy sharing my belief in the faith, if you'll listen. Would you like me to recite some scripture, or did you just want to know more about the faith? Of course, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. So lovely. Selflessness like that is a rare commodity these days. I can see why that particular passage inspired her. Scripture, the world as told in the Bible. Would you like to hear a verse? I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the scripture with me, but I can share a few passages. Here's one of my favorites. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise again incorruptible, and we shall be changed. We try to improve the state of the wasteland by doing good where we can, and by spreading the word of the Bible. We also recover and restore religious relics that we can find, but that's a secondary goal. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. I was raised at the Abbey of the Road, where I was educated until I could receive my rights of mission. That's when I first left the Abbey. What else do you want to discuss? Would you like me to recite some... I'm relatively new here myself, but I'll share what I can. Hostile, in a word. I try to observe, but these swamp folk are dangerously aggressive to any outsiders. Lucky for us, they tend to keep to the swamp. Swamp folk fetishes or totems, they probably mark territorial lines or maybe are involved with rituals of some kind. 
I've read about a lot of primitive beliefs that use similar symbols. Voodoo magic, centuria, obeya. Fascinating, if somewhat disturbing. Though the underlying beliefs seem quite dark, I'm not sure they're anything more than an empty set of traditions to the swamp folk. Sort of. The tents were collapsed when I found them. I was able to put them back together. This one smells the least like a wet Brahmin. I restored a terminal in one of the other tents. From that, it would seem that these tents were originally put here before the war by medical workers. Right. I'm from the Abbey of the Road. I'm afraid its location is secret, however. What else do you want to discuss? Go with great care. Keep your distance. What are you doing in my house? Well, Black Hole Manor isn't abandoned. Not yet. At least have the grace to come speak with her owner properly. should be able to sit and have a conversation, especially in times like these. Civil discourse, the greatest of our lost arts. Wouldn't you agree? I'm glad you think so. Conversation is but one of the virtues that separate us from cretins like those swamp folk. 
Swamp folk who, I should mention, absconded with a book. A precious family heirloom. I wanted to ask you, friend. Will you get it back? Good. The fools who stole it believe it has powers, so the thing is probably well guarded. There's a ritual site east of the boardwalk, in the basement of a ruined house. I think you'll find it there. Bring it back to me, and be paid. Don't be daft. You agreed to retrieve my book. With more haste than this, I would have thought. You need to head to the... I don't suppose there's any harm indulging you. What interests you? Hundreds of years, and still standing strong. You're within a fine example of Victorian architecture, my friend. Just as much as it's named after us, I suppose. We took the Black Hall name when we arrived on these shores, generations before the Great War. We do well to remember history, particularly in this dark time. What else do you want to discuss? I suppose larceny isn't enough reason to hate. You must be new here if you don't know the answer to that by now. Yes, they're dangerous. They shoot at, smash, or try to eat anything that isn't them. And half the time they shoot at each other. They may have been men once, but no more. No. Not them. That lot wants for brains. But they're at least somewhat civilized. The swamp folk have no creed, no morals. They think the book has a kind of occult power. Superstition and nonsense, of course. What else do you want to discuss? Don't get yourself killed. Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? I thought as much. Listen to me very carefully, child. You mustn't bring it to him. That book is known as the Krivbekne, and it's a thing of evil purpose. Yes. The Krivbekne, the Blackhall family, has a long, evil history with the book. It was lost to them long ago, but it's found a way back to Point Lookout, and Obadiah seeks to reclaim it. Obadiah's no better than the heathens he's asked you to steal it from. He believes he can use it to control them, and God knows what else. There's a way to destroy that damned thing. I intend to do just that. I ask no more. You can find me at my tent on the beach, south of Black Hall. God bless your path, child. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware. Well, we have hardware. No, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit. Never any cash or goods. Them mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Oh, you're thinking... No, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. 
I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I got some from the mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Uh, be careful out there. Them swamp folk is nasty. They attacked while I slept. I... I don't expect to survive. I only pray that... <coughs> that you haven't taken that book to Obadiah. You must take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy the Grivbeckner. But you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the capital wasteland. Seek a place called Dunwich. Within is an obelisk itself, a, a wicked thing. It'll consume the book. You need only press the book to its surface. May God shed his blessings upon you, child. Make haste for Dunwich. My God, I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I sh should. The book. You found it. Quickly, give it to me. Surely you're not considering giving it to Marcella. Come now, that woman can't rub two caps together. Give it to me and be paid. Can't say that I did. But that's all the more reason you should give the book to me.
We had a bargain, Roughneck. There's no reason in your keeping that book. My book! Talk to me again when you've come to your senses. <laughs>